We comb through Minecraft fan forum posts that are almost a decade old, all in the name of finding some original updates for ideas that Minecraft's creator, Notch, wanted to add to the game, but either never did or never got the chance to, and we ended up finding 40 of them. So we decided to add them to Minecraft ourselves. We start with number one, siege weapons. Notch originally said that siege weapons would, quote, definitely happen because they are, quote, turkey to use and would be kind of fun to see. So we've got a cannon. It's as simple as right clicking to place one down, then getting on top of it. From there, you can actually aim your cannon and you can fire off a few different things. You can fire off stone to shoot a stone in the air, which can damage mobs if it happens to hit me. We're gonna do some rapid fire, get it baby. Not as effective. We moved our cannon back a little bit and why don't we fire off some TNT instead? Yeah, that's right on target, but we could go even further. If you're daring enough to lure a creeper nearby this cannon, it will literally get stuck inside of it. And then what? Well, I could have told you that. We fire away with them. Boom! I gotta say, this is one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever been a part of. Notch also wanted secret doors, number two. So we're gonna try and navigate around this stone structure to see if we can find some sort of hidden door somewhere. The idea is that these doors would be completely flush compared to normal stone. There it is, how about it? And you could easily hide away bases at a moment's notice. Now, simply put, it would be made quite easily. A two by three of stone would get you your stone door. Not too realistic, but number three kicks it up a notch. Realistic mode. We've got a button here we can press that's going to enable a new type of game mode, the realism mode. Originally envisioned as a slider in your options menu, Notch wanted some different game mode types including survival, realistic, creative plus, and plain old creative. Now, one of the alleged plans for realism mode was the simple inventory weight management where the more you held on you in your inventory, the slower you would walk around. Now look at how slowly I'm moving because I've got so much junk on me and it gets deeper. Uh, I can't make it to the disable realism, but uh, much better. Number four, crafting area prerequisites. Notch had some interesting theories about crafting system add-ons involving block placement. One of the potential ideas was having certain recipes not available depended on if you had the correct blocks around or not. For example, we can't make a diamond chest plate with this crafting table, or a sword, or even arrows. Well, the idea was that you would add on to your crafting table's functionality by placing other blocks that had certain functionalities within them nearby. So now look at what happens when we try and make our arrows. Suddenly we can. Same story, place down an anvil, now you can make weaponry. Place down a blast furnace, all of a sudden you can make your chest plate. Number five is seasons. Constant spring or summer is nice, and originally Notch wanted seasons instead, but he said that there were some technical difficulties with adding them, so instead, we've done it. I present summer. Oh, right. I present autumn. Ooh, y'all ready? Look at this. Beautiful. All the leaves turn a lovely golden color and naturally it begins raining. But how about winter? Ooh, y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready. Snowy wonderland everywhere. All the leaves around us, a lovely crisp white. We did another video on the channel titled 40 Updates Mojang Won't Add to Minecraft and if I remember correctly, unfortunately Seasons was one of those things. So make sure you check out that video at some point and hopefully they change their mind on Seasons. <sighs> Back to summer for the time being. Number six, block engravings. Notch had said he wanted a way for you to quote, paint your own signs and chisel your own engravings. So we went ahead and did it for him. We got a chisel right here. And if you look very closely at the center of this block, every time we right click it, we're actually removing a pixel at a time of the center one. And if you look all around, each side of the block receives that upgrade as well. And heck, you can even mine it. And if we were to place this block down once again, you'd see that it manages to maintain its chisel-like state. Now this is obviously a very light version of what's going on here. But for those that do want to chisel their blocks, there are plenty of mods that allow for you to do so. Number seven is liquid Huh? Wasn't this just lava? Ugh, anyways, Notch had said he wanted liquid slime and mobs made of it would spawn in it. And this likely ended up what the slime mob ended up being. Look at this guy, right on cue. Now, instead you find slimes in swamps and, you know, they're all right. They're kind of cute, I guess, but more fun to punch than anything. Heck, perhaps we would have gotten a slime bucket out of it. I do a lot of cool things with this stuff. <laughs> 
But you wouldn't want to step in it because the idea is that you would get toxic radiation damage. So yeah, stay away. Bad news. Now, number H1, I'm glad never made it into game. Stalking mobs. Right. Like the booze from Mario, these would only follow you if you happen to be looking in a different direction. And when stalking you, they can even fly to get to you. So here's an example of one. Oh gosh, hideous. But look, no matter what, as long as we're looking at this guy, he doesn't do a thing. It's the moment you step away. Oh gosh, that things get a little... Oh, a little bit dicey. Yeah! Maybe we just, you know, maybe we just step away from the, yeah. This is not a good idea. Oh gosh, please, I have children. It, just kidding, by the way. All right, number nine is fire creepers. Now for, oh, oh, yeah, we're gonna go to creative mobile. Fire creepers were originally meant to explode with a smaller radius, but with an extra helping of fire. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. We've got a fire creeper right here, and upon setting him on fire, look at what happens. Well, f fire happens. The explosion's a little bit more manageable, but it, fire. Yeah, I like the trade-off. Number 10, TNT arrows. This idea was originally suggested a Notch, and you happen to just really like it. Maybe you would enhance your crafting table with a fletching table nearby, and then just cook yourself up some TNT arrows. Well, probably not, since Notch isn't in charge of Minecraft anymore, but, you know, we can dream. Hey, found an apple. You know, I think I'm gonna hold on to these for security. Perhaps the fletching table will eventually become a future source of interesting arrow types. I could totally get behind it. Number 11 was square rainbows. Not said these would be considered, and so as you can see here, we got a square rainbow, and that's it for that one. All right, number 12, goblins. Not originally said he liked the idea of finding a goblin village, complete with its own unique little nasties. Lucky for us, we got a pit that leads us to a goblin village right here. And so away we go. And this is potentially a goblin village, and right there is one of the goblins. Here's one of those villages now. Ay ay ay! Get away from me, buddy! I want to see what this place is all about. Yo, they got the flag waving strong. Let's get a little bit more of a closer look at these guys. Okay, maybe not that close. Oh, there's a lot of them. Guys, easy does it, please. Look at them. They're kind of hideous, actually. I don't like you guys. Yo, I wonder if they got anything good around here that I can steal. I see a little cage for prisoners there. This guy looks stuck. Poor thing. He has no brain. Does not open his own door. Beautiful village, though, really. I am a fan. Yo, this place doesn't look half bad. You guys know how to keep a beautiful home. Anyways, uh, I'll see y'all later. Number 13, block transportation. Notch originally wanted players to have the ability to build themselves a mega entity, such as a ship on the open seas that they could then sail around and do with whatever they like to their heart's content. Closest thing I could think of would be the Archimedes ship mod, which lets you build a ship and then turn it into an entity that you can ride around in the ocean, but it never came to Minecraft. Neither did number 14, Torches Burning Out, which was entirely supposed to happen. In fact, originally planned for the original Halloween update. He said he'd add lanterns for permanent light in case torches did decide to go out. And so here's an example of that. We've got some torches here. Let's place one down. You know, it's getting, and then all of a sudden it's gone. You know, you put a couple torches down and all of a sudden they're gone. They all go out, every last one. The original idea was, in fact, for lanterns, which were recently introduced, to serve as a permanent light source. So, now you got both. Well, not torches going out, but you got torches and lanterns. Number 15 was persistent block damage. Notch wanted the block cracking to stay for a few seconds. This would allow you to try and break several blocks at a time, which, as you can see right here, is exactly what we're doing. Slowly stacking away, but let's say I stopped focusing on the others. You'd slowly see them all gain their health back. Namely, <laughs> they would lose all of the different cracks on them. So once again, watch what happens here. A few seconds go by and then out of nowhere, it all grows back. Naturally, you'd use tools to make that process work way faster, which you can see occurring right here. So next time you decide you wanna go punching dirt, you can thank the current updates for existing the way they do or it'd be way more click intensive. I'm gonna let these guys live. I like watching the, the, the grow back. Number 16 was sharks. Also featured in our video, 40 Things Mojang Won't Add to Minecraft, Notch originally said that sharks would have been passive creatures. So let's see if our version of them is, huh? Boom, shark, hi there, look at you. Oh, they're adorable, I actually love them. Oh, it looks like they're going for the salmon. Again, these unfortunately won't be coming to Minecraft, but one can dream of a time when we could have seen the waters filled with these dangerous yet gentle creatures. 
they're, I don't know if they're gentle, but actually I'm pretty just, I'm pretty sure they're just dangerous. Number 17 was nether compression. The nether was originally meant to compress your location from 16 to 1 instead of 8 to 1. Here's an example of what I mean. This would be one block traveled and the nether would get you over here. It was originally meant to be 16 to 1, and so double the length it currently does. It would have made fat traveling through the nether twice as fast. Speaking of the nether, number 18 was that gas were originally meant to spawn near and outside of nether portals, aka in the overworld. Imagine seeing this guy every time you decided you wanted to make yourself a nice obsidian purple mess to get to the hellish landscape. Yikes. Normally I invite my guests over for dinner, they don't just show up randomly. Either way, number 19 here is red moss stone. Look at this mess of different types of blocks. Quote, it's hard to draw red moss in few pixels, said Notch. Famous last words, huh? What that means is that netherrack was originally likely meant to be red moss stone, and eventually it took on an identity of its own, but this could have been our one day nether. Or at the least, it would have joined Netherrack in the foray. But for now, let's head back to the overworld. I'm getting the heebie-jeebies here. It would probably make sense if we put on some armors. Number 20, Enchanted Armors. Now, while we do have Enchanted Armors in-game technically, Notch originally wanted prefixes such as Burning Armor, or Lucky Armor, or even Spectral Armor. You'd be able to find these armors in Structure Loot, and they would all come with different abilities. For example, putting on the Spectral Leather Helmet may have made you glow. You know? Or putting on the burning iron chest plate would make you <laughs> burn. Ah! Take it off! Take it off! Where's the water? Run. Don't worry, I've got on my lucky diamond pants. With any luck, I'll get to the water faster. Nope. Same speed. This things are useless. Oh, I put it on again by mistake! Alright, number 21 is uploading and downloading of builds. A user had suggested to Notch, hey, it'd be a cool idea to see user-generated builds and structures populating across Minecraft. And so, the idea of potentially downloading and uploading random builds from other people was originally one of Notch's ideas, and obviously it never came into play. Man, this looks like a place villagers would rent out or something. Or maybe some trolls. Number 22. Another mob concept that Notch wanted to implement, these trolls would often throw boulders at players. Don't worry, we're prepared. Diamond armor and the like. So here's a troll in theory, and not only would he come at you, attack you, and throw you into the air, but every once in a while he may actually throw a boulder at you too. Yikes, oh he's got me in a corner. <laughs> Hopefully we can actually see this guy throwing a boulder at us. Looks like he had his way with someone else earlier on in the day. Yikes, I'm gonna eat one of these apples ASAP. Please don't kill me. Yo, he's throwing me all over the place. Now I want to see him throw one of the- Yeah, you see? You just caught a glimpse of that boulder. I'm gonna stay the heck away. Hopefully he doesn't throw another one of those boulders at me. I'm not looking to get into any trouble here, buddy. Please, 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 just die already, please. Dude, difficult. Should have used the arrows instead. Celebrate your victory with number 23, a beer. Well, just kidding. Never actually got added to game, but according to Notch, beer, quote, looks really cool. It's not. There would have been some sort of brewery block, and you could then use lava or another heat source to brew sugar canes into hops to get your beer. So perhaps it went something like this. Oh, I don't know. Throw you in there, cook that up. Taking its sweet, sweet, sweet time, might I add. And long story short, you'd get yourself a nice, come on. Beer. <laughs> the suspense was killing me. Anyways, maybe you drink it. Oh, I don't know. You get nausea. You get a speed boost. You get really friendly with people. Hey, I just want to let you guys know. We go. Uh, it's been so. Uh, what's your name? Ugh, my head. Number 24, mob modifiers. Similar to the armor prefixes mentioned before, Notch envisioned mobs having prefixes as well, such as one you've seen before, a giant zombie, but maybe one you haven't seen before, like a shadow creeper, or maybe a flaming bat that will drop fire all, okay, I, I worry about this creeper. Easy does it, easy does it. I don't wanna have to use my shield. Okay, we good. Well, oh, thank goodness, I think you took out the bat too. Number 25, armor marking. When asked about custom armor, Not said he was unsure about what to do. He said he liked the idea of armor insignias, and so we've got some examples of two different diamond helmets here that look different on your head. One's got a fun tree marking along the sides and back, and the other's got a cool T on there, probably for Tyler, best name in the world. No bias, by the way. Number 26, environmental hazards. Not said things like quicksand, quote, might belong, actually. And so we've got some quicksand right here. And if you don't know what quicksand does, well, you know, you step in it, you start sinking, and 
you know, your life is sure to end and blah, 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 and this and that. And <laughs> Can someone help me, please? Oh, boy. Ay, 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 until you start suffocating all around and you overall have a bad time. He also said that when swimming, there would be black prickly things, which were likely going to be sea urchins. And so if we look around a little closely down here, we can see urchins, sea urchins. And look, we're taking damage. I know. Now we have pufferfish to worry about. Number 27, obsidian floating. Notch originally wanted all blocks to be affected by gravity except for obsidian, which was going to exist at the bottom of the world, in theory, holding all of the different blocks up. And so the idea here is that if you were to break an obsidian block, all the blocks on top would fall below. And not just sand and gravel, but every type of block other than obsidian. That would have changed Minecraft as we know it. Back to our big friends for number 28, Mega Beasts. Mega Beasts were the result of Notch wanting to add a challenge to your world no matter how equipped you were, but quote, never annoying. These guys were occasionally meant to spawn in your worlds. Now we're gonna just do creative mode. You've seen this guy before, Mega Zombie. Yes, yes, big old boy, nice old boy. But how about the Mega Slime? Imagine one of these guys spawning in in your world. Oh my gosh, looks like he's got a bone to pick with the zombie. Or how about a Mega Phantom? J well, he's on fire. Much better. What if there was a mega zombie pigman? Ooh, could you imagine? Well, thankfully you don't have to. They're right in front of you. But unfortunately, they never made it into game. And probably for good reason, as it were. These guys are trouble. Fun to shoot, though. Not gonna lie. Number 29 is an interesting one. Land claiming. Not said you would plant a flag which would cost gold to claim land. And this land wouldn't let mobs in and other players would be able to build there if you wanted them to. So here's our version of it. We've got our four blocks of gold, we've got our three sticks, we got our flag. The idea is that you would place this flag down and then when sneaking, you could see the area in which your land would be claimed. And within claimed land, mobs would not be able to spawn. Sorry guys, nothing personal. Well, kind of, I don't, I don't like you guys. Number 30, non-stackable food. Originally not said that stackable food would be quote, too powerful. And so food was originally not stackable. As you can see, none of this steak is actually stacking on top of each other. However, as we all know, stackable food is now a real thing in Minecraft and there's nothing you can do about that. Personally, I like being able to hold 64 whole steaks on me at all times. All right, guys, the final 10. Don't forget to leave a comment at the end of today's video, which of the 40 was your favorite? Number 31 is multi-food cooking. Notch like the idea of being able to cook multiple food at once. We've got three raw salmon here, a coal, and our new friend some kind of multi-cooking tool. Now, obviously it's not gonna cook this fast normally, but the idea here is that you'd place in your salmon, then place in your coal, and they would all cook. Probably not instantly, but you know, we're just showing you as an example. Number 32 was wet sand. Sounds gross. Notch hinted about something like wet sand, which would stay floating for a brief period of time, and then would fall. So we're gonna place some of this sand down right here, and what you'll see in just a moment is that it all stays floating and you can even walk on it, but then look, it will slowly sink down after having been placed and sustained for a period of time. So look, good to go until <laughs> it starts to fall. Number 33 is coins. Not said he wanted to add coins because he liked him. <laughs> well, you got that problem solved, don't you, Notch? And so for this example, we've got a village here and these villagers, they don't trade in emeralds. Well, this one doesn't trade at all. They trade instead in coins. What a different world it would have been if we had to trade clay for coins and coins for bricks. You got anything else for trade? Anything? What are you selling? I got coins. Yo, those are some nice pants. Don't mind if I do. Yo, keep the change, man. Seriously. I don't need it. They're not lucky pants, but they'll do for the time being. I'm just kidding. I'm throwing them away. Number 34, speaking of throwing, throwable torches. Not said at one point that throwable torches were being considered. Imagine that, throw a torch where it lands, light. This would be awesome and I still want this, please. Anyone out there listening that works at Mojang, please. Number 35 is more inventory slots, which is something everyone wants in my opinion. There was originally going to be a cloak item, perhaps craftable, perhaps not. In this case, we've made it craftable. And the idea is that you would wear this cloak to have extra inventory space, right? Clicking at any time, allowing you to store a multitude of things. Now, if you were to take this cloak off, you'd notice that we don't have that right click feature to be able to access our chest. But no matter where we put this cloak back on, the moment we put it back on and right click, we have access to our items once again. 
Number 36 was water gates, which would have been like trap doors that would let water through specifically. So see, there's no water in here. If we were to use this trap door, it would let the water through, despite normal trap doors not working like that. But the moment we close this water gate, well, the water would go ahead and drain out. Now we're going to have to escape to show you number 37, Red Moon. Ooh. Notch wanted some knights to randomly have a red moon, and during these nights there would be more mobs than usual. And so what you can see right here is an example of just that. Evil red moon. In fact, we've actually done a red moon video on the channel. You should check that out after this video ends and after you watch that other video I mentioned. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to get some mobs interrupting the rest of the show because we're going to change it back to daytime. For number 38, clouds slowing down the player. Yeah, imagine that. Well, you don't have to. We've implemented it right here with an inbound cloud. And the moment it intersects with us, look at what happens to our movement speed. Way slower. In fact, slowness three slower until the cloud has moved on by. Number 39, you've seen this one before, the Pigman. Not said his favorite mob suggestion was the Pigman of all of the suggestions he got from players. And so here is it in game. Or uh, here it is in game. <laughs> right. Ah, jeez. Calm down, man. More pork chops. At least these ones stack. And of course, number 40, our finale, more dragons. Not said that dragons are definitely planned, although he said this before the Ender Dragon came out but he does mention dragons. And so we've got an example of one of these more dragons right here. The Red Dragon. Not officially released, but boy, do I wish he was. Kind of, I don't know. Please don't mess up this world, dude. Either way, Minecraft's got some fantastic updates to begin with, and there's always room for more. So let me know which of these you'd love to see added to Minecraft, and special thanks to Blue Commander for today's world.